Here's a tutorial on how to create this kind of code animation in Blender. So first I go to scripting and I enter this script here. I want to have this code block here and this code block. And with the types import extension, which I first installed here, I look for types install. And now I can run this script and we will get these two code blocks. Um, this is an emission shader, so um, we don't need these background planes. And then we can see all our code. And now I will, I can also hide this part of the code. But the first thing that we want to do now is we want to align these two blocks. So I click on this one, I click on this one, I press N. And here in Tips Tools, I can say Align Collections. Now they are already on top of each other. And next I can um, continue with the animation. So let's say the first thing I want to do is I want to get this high down here and I want to fade in these two numbers. Let's start with these two numbers first. So I select the first number, I select the second number and then I can say fade into animation plane. This will add two keyframes for me and I can see these elements are now fading in and they have their own collection. So there is code one, code two, and then all the animations objects are added to this collection. Um, next, we add keyframes for this high. So um, let me first group this one with control J. Okay, first I have to select an active object and then select the other objects. Control J, now they are one group. Same here. And I insert a keyframe here. 10 frames down the line. Uh, next, I align these two ones. Insert another keyframe here for this one. And we already have this fade effect. Um, next, I want to have this line. So I also. Um, Okay, I just want to select this one and all the other characters. I join them, join them into one object. Same goes here. I select this one, join all other objects. And now I want to move them here. And this can be done by this uh, function arc and follow curve. Um, I like this curve. I can also go into edit mode and um, maybe move this one a bit here. But now we have our second part of the animation where this curve is moving here. Okay, uh, next after this is um, in place, uh, let me hide this one. Um, I want to fade in the remaining elements. So I want to select these ones here. Let me try again, okay. Now I got them and then say fade into animation plane. And here we go. Now I can uh, hide this one completely. And when I play the whole animation, then I have what I want. Now I can um, finally add a camera. That's what I'm looking for. And when I preview this. This is kind of what I want. And um, now with this, I can say render, render animation. Ah, okay, that didn't work because I also have to deselect these options here and render, render animation. And here we go.